Hi, it's Wester here. Hope you're all doing well and welcome to a new year. I'm just here in front of the computer at the moment putting the final touches on what you're about to watch. In this video, it's about how I present a weedless frog over the lily pads at Maroon Dam for those Australian bass. So sit back and enjoy the video. On the frog. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a good average size fish for here. Swing the camera around. A nice bass here, probably 35. Kick a curly. Just pinned it right on the edge of the lily pads. Pretty much textbook, landed on a couple of little pads deep of the fringe and then just twitch it along and then they follow it from underneath the lily pads and as soon as it hears that clear water, they smash it. Awesome, good start to the morning. Let's see if we can get a few more. Oh, another surface strike. You gonna come back for it? That's alright, that's cool. Put him back there, see if he's got a friend. Let's see if he'll come back and hit it. There was one there, but. Oh. There's one coming racing for it now. Oh, he's under it. He doesn't know what to think. So there's a couple there. I'm just, I'm just gonna we'll go in here. Oh yes, another one. Kick a curly. Nice, straight off the fringe of that lily pad. Oh, there we go, nice. Another one. Let's have a look at that. Oh, there's a little pack attack going on. Another little bass. Maybe just 30. Right in the corner. Kick a curly in the red colour. Nice little bass. I'm finding that I'm hearing a lot of bass up in those lily pads. So all I'm doing is just casting right over the top of all of them and just twitching across the top, just trying to get their attention, I guess. Um, if I get a hit while I'm right in there, well, then it's going to be fun getting it out. But um, the whole idea is just to sort of twitch it, reasonable pace, and then as soon as I start getting to that fringe of the lily pads, I just slot right down and then I'm just like hopping it through. And then just as soon as it hits that fringe, it's just like a little pause and a couple of twitches and then I'll go into a bit of a roll to see if I can get a bit of a reaction bite because they're out off the cover. So you can come out and hit it, but 
those last two were right on the fringe, so let's keep going. those leap pads again. Nice fish. Alrighty, got another nice one. This one's a bit longer. Maybe close to that 40 mark. Same again, frog straight in the mouth. Kick a curly again, does the damage. But yep, very nice fish. Especially for maroon, it's a good one. Alrighty, let him go. I just want to go through the outfit I was using this morning for the frogging, for the kick a curly. So I was using a medium light rod, it's about six foot six, and I was using the Daiwa Certate 2500 and it's got the 15 pound Expedition braid on it and I was using 12 pound mono filament line. Mono, it floats, it helps the frog float a little bit more, especially when you're pausing it. I just like to use mono when I'm using top, top water baits. So, yep, that's the outfit. As you can see, it's not rigged. Uh, you'll see in the video though that this is the rod I was using. I got blown away earlier and later in the morning, I got blown away. So. It done me and I just wrapped it up and that was my morning session done. I caught it quits then, that was around about 9.30. So, just thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown on what I was using. Thanks for watching guys. I'm glad I got to show you some top water action on the frogs, the Daiwa Kicker Curlies. Love throwing them over lily pads. Well, I love throwing frogs over lily pads and I found uh, the Kicker Curly executed well today. Um, more of a 60-40 in hookup rate, which is really good. Anything over 50-50 for me is awesome. So thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Write some comments down, what you like to do with your, when you're frogging, whether you like the rivers or the dams. Just write a comment. All right guys, see you next time.